when setting up and doing a circuit setup for the MA1, you want to uh, gather your equipment, and the equipment is going to be right here. You want a humidifier, this is a cascade humidifier, a drain bottle, a spirometer, and in this case we have the spirometer all fully assembled, an H setup so that we can connect this to the uh, IMV system, and then you want your ventilator tubing, and the ventilator tubing needs to have an exhalation valve built into it, and this is an entirely disposable circuit. So let's assemble this ventilator in a step-by-step -step process. First thing we're going to do is place the um, humidifier on the cascade heating element and we'll snap it in place. Next, we're going to put on the H system so that uh, we can uh, adapt the uh, IMV system and we're going to place this on one connection on the humidifier and then this to the ventilator and this to the IMV. Okay? Now, we can place the uh, spirometer on top of the cooling tower and the end of the tubing goes to this black connection called spirometer and now we're going to put a drain bottle because this metal pipe will cool the condensed, condensed moisture no, it'll cool the moisture and cause it to rain out so what we need to do is put the water trap down here below and it just fit tight in position and now we are going to get the ventilator circuit and holding it in this fashion so that it does not touch the floor is appropriate and then use your support arm to uh, hold it in place. You remember you don't want this to touch the, uh, the floor and the support arm is nice and handy and this arm here will keep it in place so that it doesn't drop to the floor. Okay. Now, let's take the in-story line. And the in-story line is, as always, on the side of the female port where a temp probe, probe would go. So this is our in-story line, goes to our humidifier. And the opposite line is our extory line, and this end goes into that water, that water trap on the spirometer, and that goes down below. You can see the uh, exhalation line going into the water trap, and that goes up to the spirometer. The only thing we have to worry about is this exhalation valve and there is a tubing that goes from the exhalation valve needs to go into this connector on the demand valve or if you're not using it goes to this port here. But we're going to use the uh, demand valve so we're going to put it on the demand valve port and make sure that this is connected. Okay. All right. Now we have all of the tubing set up, and as you notice, this tubing is a lot more complicated than the ventilator tubing for the 900C, the 7200, or any of the other ventilators, and that's because we have a lot more connections to make and so it's imperative when you use these kind of ventilators you know how they're connected and where everything goes. So the last thing you would do is a circuit leak test. Set the ventilator at a low 
volume, like 100 mLs. Occlude this end, press the ventilator, and see how much pressure we can generate. And if it doesn't leak out, then you know you have a tight seal.